Oracle, go through the city's computers. Pull up all you can find on Dr. Young. I'll go through anything you find once I get to the cave. A bat cave? On Arkham Island? I built it years ago. It's best to plan ahead for situations like this. How'd you manage to keep this a secret? It's me, remember? So do you think Dr. Young's been experimenting with venom? The same chemical that turns Bane into that animal? Yes, I'm worried. Bane seemed even more powerful than usual. Joker wants the venom, and that can only be trouble. I'm heading to Dead Man's Point in Arkham North. I'll contact you once I'm in the Batcave. location on Arkham Island for over a hundred years. Yeah, I know. I once saved an unfortunate inmate from leaping off into the rocks below. I found a cave entrance and over the years have moved a number of supplies here. It's a regular home away from home.
That was one of the easy ones. My family's blood ran through the heart of Gotham. We were doctors, politicians, and teachers. We have been the organ cleaning the arterial filth from the city. We have been its servants, giving all to protect it. And still it has chosen to hurt us. Challenge completed. Can you do more? Confirmed. Disabling countermeasures. Security deactivated. Dr. Young was heading up a project. It was big, lots of external funding. Here are the last notes she filed. I can't make sense of it. What does it mean? Looks like she was experimenting on the Arkham patients. This new chemical only barely resembles the original venom compound. There are a number of changes that appear to amplify the strength of the drug. Multiple references to a Titan formula. Even a small amount could trigger a venom-like transformation in the host. Eliminating the need for the storage tank Bane requires. Hang on. These notes aren't complete. The formula is missing. That must be the secret Dr. Young is hiding. If Joker gets his hands on this, he will create an army of a thousand Banes. My god. Is Joker crazy enough to do that? What am I saying? You've got to stop him. I'm going after her. She was heading to the mansion with cash. I'm going up top via the catacombs. Sorry, boss. 
took a little longer to find him than you figured it would. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll try and be more precise next time I'm planning an island takeover. Hey, I didn't mean... Of criticism I can take. I mean, I'm not perfect. Well, come to think of it, I'm pretty close to perfect, aren't I? Where was I? Oh, yes. From a word like you, a word only crawling around free, because I arranged to open his cell, is something I will not tolerate. Why? <gasps> So what was it that gave it away? The big green glowing question mark? Is he here yet? He? You're kidding me, right? That thing's not a man. <laughs> my God! Hello. My name is Dr. Gretchen Whistler. Do you understand me? Yeah, I hear you, bitch. So when's dinner? like paper. I've been digging deeper into Dr. Young. According to her bank records, there have been multiple payments starting last April until two months ago. Then nothing. The payments came from a company owned by uh, Mr. Jack White. One of Joker's oldest aliases. So, Joker pays Dr. Young to create his army and then all of a sudden he stops. Doesn't make any sense. Can you hear that, detective? It's the sound of me clapping at your success. Oh, you can't? That's because an idiot would have found that trophy. Sounds like she had a change of heart. She tried to block the payments. Joker doesn't like it when his partners try to back out. So he decided to get himself back to Arkham, find his formula, and create the army himself. Exactly. I've hacked into her email accounts. Two mails stand out. The first is a resignation letter dated last week. Sounds like she was trying to get away. And the second? A message from Joker. Well, Jack White. It's a long thread. Uh, 
She's begging to stop the experiment, says it's too dangerous. He's not listening. Let's see. Random threats to her family, a couple of bad jokes, a picture of a dead baby and a threat. Go on. He says, I'm coming for you. I want what I paid for. And then another joke about wheelchairs. Lovely. And a drawing of some kind of donkey. No mystery why she's so scared. I'm coming up to the surface. I'll find her. Session 2. Patient name, Waylon Jones, a.k.a. Killer Croc. So, is this the part where you try and reason with me? Find out why I did it, Doc. We're here to help you, Mr. Jones. You got a cure for me then, Doc? Can you make me normal? Normal is a poor choice of words. No one's really normal, are they? <laughs> Figured as much. So, how about this, Doc? You let me go now, and I won't eat you. You don't really eat people. It's just an urban myth. Oh, you think? 